As the coffee season continues, the trees will produce new growth, the berries will start to ripen, and coffee berry borer will continue to reproduce in your field. Here are some tips and recommendations to help you control CBB during your main harvest. Try to harvest every two or three weeks. By harvesting ripe berries frequently, you can interrupt the CBB breeding cycle. If you harvest every four weeks or more, this will allow CBB to mature into adults in the older berries that were left in your field. Also, older berries, such as overripes and raisins, tend to fall on the ground while harvesting. If left, the infested berries become CBB reservoirs, where CBB produce new adults that continue to infest nearby berries. These reservoirs can even continue to harbor CBB into the next season. So while you're harvesting, make sure to pick color break, ripe, overripe, and raisin berries. Also, do not intentionally throw out any unwanted berries. Instead, keep them in the basket or use a secondary container. And when possible, pick up any drop berries from the ground. To minimize CBB from crawling out of burlap bags and reinfesting your farm or other farms, line the inside of the burlap bag with a plastic bag. Be sure to keep your harvest bags closed and in the shade while picking, and take them to the mill for processing as soon as possible. If you need to remove unwanted berries before delivering it to the wet mill, pre-process the harvest by floating it in water. This will help remove raisins, highly CBB damaged berries, and poorly developed fruit. Destroy all floaters to prevent reinfestation. CBB management is a year-round effort. By adopting practices such as frequent harvesting, mindful picking, and other preventative measures during your main harvest, you'll be able to continue to keep CBB populations low on your farm. For more information on how to control coffee berry borer, please visit hawaiicoffeeed.com or contact your nearest cooperative extension office.